much of what he says is untrue. Uh, certainly people here are because these things are provably untrue. I mean, just they're just factually incorrect, and people know the difference. So I don't know why he lowers himself uh, to such a low, low standard and debases our country in the way that he does, but he does. And, uh, you know, look, I don't like responding. I, you know, you can let them go unanswered, but uh, uh, it's just not me. To, we don't do tweets like that. We've responded twice to, again, untruths. But, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that our nation finds itself um, in this place. The president uh, has great difficulty with the truth on many issues. He's proven himself uh, unable to rise to the occasion. I think many of us, me, me included, have, you know, tried to, you know, I've intervened, I've had private dinner, I've you know, been with him on multiple occasions to try to you know, create some kind of aspirational uh, uh, approach, if you will, to the way that he conducts himself. But uh, I don't think that that's possible. And, um, uh, he's obviously not going to, to rise to the occasion as president. But I think at the end of the day, when his term is over, I think the debasing of our nation, um, the constant non-truth telling, the, just the, the name calling, the things like, I think the, the debasement of our nation will be what he'll be remembered most for, and, and that's regretful. Um, and it affects young people. I mean, we have young people who, for the first time, are, you know, watching a president uh, stating, uh, you know, absolute non-truths, uh, non-stop, um, personalizing things in the way that he does, and and it's uh, it's it's very sad for our nation. And the shame of it is, there are some really good people around him, and um, if he would stay out of their way and let them. Uh, perform, people like Tillerson and Madison and others, um, you know, we could really make progress on things that